The excellence of wisdom is to be understood as the three bodies of the Buddha, which are the essence body, the enjoyment body, and the transformation body. Among these, the essence body is the Dharma body of the Tathagatas, because it is the support for mastering all things. The enjoyment body is the body that is manifested in the various Buddha lands and assemblies of great persons. It is supported upon the Dharma body, in that its cause is the complete purification of the Buddha lands and the experience of delight in the doctrine of the great vehicle. The transformation body is also supported upon the Dharma body, because it manifests itself in many perceptible manners, such as residing in and descending from the Tusita heaven, being born in Kapalavastu, undertaking learning, indulging in desire for the material world, leaving home, going to the heretic's place, practicing asceticism, attaining perfect awakening, turning the wheel of the Dharma and entering into final cessation. How is the Dharma body of Buddhas to be characterized? The Dharma body is characterized as being composed of radiant qualities, because through the completion of the six perfections one obtains the excellent capabilities of the ten masteries. Among these ten masteries, the mastery over the duration of life, the mastery over mind, and the mastery over necessities are obtained through the fullness of the perfection of giving. The mastery over act and the mastery over birth are obtained through the fullness of the perfection of discipline. The mastery over commitment is obtained through the fullness of the perfection of patience. The mastery of other vow is obtained through the fullness of the perfection of zeal. The mastery over miraculous powers, which include the five supernatural faculties, is obtained through the fullness of the perfection of meditation. And the mastery over understanding and the mastery over doctrine are obtained through the fullness of the perfection of wisdom. The Dharma body is characterized by non-duality because being characterized by the non-duality of existence and non-existence, all things are non-existent and their characteristic of emptiness is not non-existent. It is also characterized by non-duality of the conditioned and unconditioned, because it is not engendered by acts and passions, but is powerful in manifesting itself in conditioned images. It is also characterized by the non-duality of unity and differentiation, because in the Dharma body the support of all Buddhas is not different the one from the other, and yet innumerable individual bodhisattvas attain perfect awakening. The Dharma body is characterized by eternity, because it has the purity of suchness as its characteristic because it is under the impulse of former vows which are never abandoned, and because its activity and action are unending. The Dharma body is characterized by inconceivability, because the purity of suchness is to be known by a personal realization, because it cannot be compared to anything, and because it is beyond the scope of intelligent knowing.